How's it going, Reef Keepers? So uh, excuse my, uh, this is not my most organized uh, controller stand here, but uh, it is the controller stand of the 25 gallon tank that uh, I did for my daughter for Christmas. So um, I have uh, a compelling option for battery backup for a tank of this size or less, by the way. Um, and it is this unit right here. The SKE, which I guess their company is Smart Key Energy, is their company name, Mini DC UPS. It is a 10,400 milliamp hour uh, battery backup, and it is $50. No joke. Um, this right here is the unit itself. Look how, like, I'm just going to move back here. Look how small it is. Look at that. It just snugs right up to the wall. You can lay it flat. It's got little rubberized feet on it. And it just plugs in to any AC outlet that you have available and automatically charges itself up. And then it functions as a traditional UPS. So it's a lithium ion battery in this thing. And it will automatically flip over to its own battery power in the event of a power outage. So for a nano tank, I would say 25 gallons or smaller, um, it's a compelling option because a lot of people are not necessarily looking to do like, you know, a lithium iron phosphate power station, uh, like the EcoFlow unit that I recently reviewed. And they may also not be looking to do like, um, you know, an Ecotech battery backup, much less an Ecotech MP10 on a tank of this size. I had an MP10 on this tank at one point. And I had to run it at its lowest setting, and it was still a lot for a lot of corals. Like, I had to adjust my coral placement to run that. So, as an alternative to paying out the behind for Ecotech stuff, including their terrible lead-acid battery um, that is going to degrade on you within five years, and avoiding, you know, $200-plus cost for a brand-new lithium-iron phosphate battery... I present to you a $50 um, lithium ion battery that literally has, this is the this is the best part, a, it doesn't have an AC hookup or anything like that. It has a little USB hookup, which means that any of those tiny little, you know, three, four, five watt wave makers that are all over the market now, um, that run with a USB plug-in. Like they literally have a USB at the end. You can find them for, you know, 30 bucks anywhere on Amazon. Um, you'll be able to plug one of those tiny little wave makers in to this unit. And then in the event of a power outage, it flips over to power from this battery. And you can just, you know, hide it up in the corner somewhere and just have this little auxiliary pump that helps your water movement day to day. But then you can rely on it to keep the water oxygenated and moving for your corals and fish when the power goes out, which it inevitably will. You should have a plan, you know, f a contingency plan in place for something like that. And for 50 bucks on a nano tank, even on like a little Fluval Evo that you have on like an Ikea stand, you're like, I don't really have anywhere to put like a, a lithium iron phosphate battery or a lead acid battery. You know, I'm just banking on the power grid. Don't bank on the power grid. This is $50. And it was actually interesting. You know, I've had this on here for a couple of months. And uh, a reef dork last night uh, on his podcast, he had found one like this that is a higher capacity. So if you're interested in higher capacity, you watch his live stream, which is great anyway. Uh, you should watch it. But um, the one that he had would last you longer. However, I will say this for this little 10,400 milliamp hour battery. Take a look at the little power indicator here. So it's got like an indicator for 25%, 50, 75, and 100%. I've had this thing. I decided to test it after I watched his live stream last night because he had been testing his. And his was, you know, I lasted six hours on a partial charge. Like he just right out of the box tested it. This was fully charged, so the light just dims out slowly as it loses power. So I've had this going for five hours now on a five watt ZKSJ return pump, and 
it is not even into the 75% indicator yet, meaning that there's still above 75% capacity left on this thing, still a set above a 75% charge. And it's been going for just over five hours on a little five watt ZKSJ return pump. I have that return pump connected here. Um, and I have a, a separate main return pump connected to this outlet over here. So essentially I have return pump functionality for, I don't know, if I extrapolate out, I mean, is this thing, I, I don't think it would last 20 hours. I bet you it accelerates as it, you know, loses charge. But still, I mean, I could, I bet you I could bank on at least 10 hours, right? At least. So I haven't fully tested it yet, but it's enough for me to know, you know, five hours and I'm not even into, you know, the 75% indication. So that's pretty darn impressive for a $50 little UPS unit that has a USB on it. Um, pretty incredible. And like I said, for 30 bucks, you can get so many pumps on Amazon, so many wave makers that have a USB connection. And they come with an adapter, but instead of using that adapter, you can just throw it in your, you know, surplus electronics drawer and just plug this little guy into the USB outlet on the side. Um, in my opinion, an incredible way to go for people who have like a, again, like a 25 gallon or under tank and you just don't have a bunch of room or you don't want to invest that much money in your tank. If you're a budget reefer and you're like feeling guilt about not having, you know, any kind of battery backup on the tank, despite the fact that you haven't put that much money into the tank yet, like don't fret any longer about needing to buy a, you know, 200 plus dollar, you know, lithium iron phosphate battery or a, you know, $210, you know, Ecotech battery backup, you know, with a Vortec, by the way, which is insanely expensive. Don't, don't fret, get this thing and pick up, if you don't have one, pick up a $30, you know, pump that has a USB that is just gonna, you know, flip over and continue operation and keep things generally moving in the tank. Um, yeah, I just think there's too much value to be had. Um, too much, there's, <laughs> even if you haven't put that much into your tank, something like this is justifiable to a budget reefer. It really is. And you should have a contingency plan if you don't, because, you know, even if you're a budget reefer and you got, you know, let's say you have a couple of clownfish and just some basic corals, it's still not a justification to let those creatures suffer and or, you know, potentially die if there is a random power outage, even though they don't happen that often in the Western world, at some point you're going to encounter a power outage and you'll just feel better. You'll just know that you're covered with this product right here. And I'm going to link it. Um, I will absolutely link it in the description of the video. So please just go take a look at it. You can see how highly rated it is. People love this thing. And again, just 50 bucks. Look at that. 50 bucks. That profile is so thin. It's it's perfect for this application. So I hope some of you check it out. And if you have questions about it, again, I'm not fully done testing how long it will really, really last, but please reach out. Um, you know, I will have that data soon. I'm testing it all day today. So have a good one, guys.